It's called the Rambling Monkey Podcast, because that's what it is. And, uh, yeah, I came up with that, like, ten minutes before recording the first episode I recorded today, but I forgot to plug in the fucking microphone, so you will never see that episode. But, uh, doesn't really matter, because I'm going to talk about the same shit. Look at this drawing I did. It's going to be reversed for you, but it's a toad and some mushrooms. You know, psychedelic shit. Thought it was kind of cool, because I've been watching a bunch of stuff about uh, psychedelics and stuff. Like, I was watching a thing about the psychedelic toad that has DMT in it, and... All, all kinds of pothead shit like that. That's not really pothead shit. It's more hippie shit. But you know what I mean. It's that. That kind of shit. Um, the first episode, or the first time I recorded this, I was going through video ideas, but I don't know how I feel about that. I think it's kind of stupid. Because do you really... I mean, I'm going to make it eventually, and you're going to see it. So why do you want to hear about it now it's just what's on my mind that's why i want to talk about it but what i will talk about is my merch site is done i have the designs up and technically if you could somehow find the link you could go buy it right now but i'm not promoting it yet because i want to get samples of everything first so that i can see the quality and if it looks good and feels good and doesn't seem like a cheap 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 so yeah that's what i'm doing right now i'm waiting for that to come in the mail and uh and then yeah i'll promote it i'm gonna make some short films actually to promote it there's two different designs i'm making two different ones for that so yeah i'm excited about that and and i'm just excited to keep making videos um I've been kind of in a rut lately in terms of that because I've talked about this a couple times. So I want to, I'm trying to figure out how to combine different uh, shit that I'm into. And it seems like lately people haven't been that into the videos I've been making. You know, the more serious kind of like video essay type videos where I'm talking about sort of deep things. Um, People don't seem to hate them, but it's definitely not landing the same way some of my other videos did which makes me really tempted to go back to making like the Danny Duncan type vlog things but I don't want to be just a Danny Duncan clone you know I feel like I have more I don't want to sound like pretentious but I think I have more to say than that um and I felt like when I was making those videos they were all kind of just like mindless I liked the videos I thought they were just fun and entertaining but I want to do more than just that and I'm trying to kind of develop like a brand for myself that's kind of consistent so people know what to expect but it's hard because like I don't want to limit myself to just one thing um and I'm probably overthinking a little bit because obviously my channel is really small right now so I think those who are watching will probably watch whatever I do but trying to develop an audience, you know, if you f- develop an audience off one kind of video, if you then start uploading like something totally different, they're all going to leave, you know. So it's kind of tough. But I'm just trying to grind out videos. Um, I haven't uploaded in t- almost two weeks, I think, which is not good. I want to get a video out, but I'm kind of in a rut in terms of what to do for that. I have some ideas. But I don't know, they're not fleshed out yet, and I don't, I don't know which ones I even want to make, you know? Um, I'm kind of, yeah, I'm just kind of struggling right now with ideas and making things that I think are worthwhile and not just throwing shit out there because I have to have a video this week, you know what I mean? But at the same time, I want to be consistent because I know, like, you don't, you don't, it doesn't happen when you upload 10 videos. It has to be 100 videos, 200 videos, you know? You have to keep pushing them out. And, 
Yeah. I'm also trying to shy away from using copyrighted music because literally every video I've uploaded since I came back has a copyright claim on it. Every single one. I think maybe one doesn't. And uh, I'm realizing that even though I can't monetize right now, eventually I'll be able to. And then when people people come back to these old videos, I want to be able to make money off those too. So starting now, I think I'm going to try to shy away from copyrighted music for the most part. Once in a while, I'll probably do it if it is really like going to add to the video. But just throwing it in there just for the sake of it, I feel like it's just kind of wasteful, you know? So that's what's on my mind. Also, with the merch, I was thinking about it, and I think that people are probably going to think I'm like, selling out because I have so such a small audience and then I'm already trying to you know sell them shit but I'm thinking of it more of it's like another thing that I want to do like it's another creative thing like it's stuff I want to make anyway and I just figured like if I'm going to do it it makes sense to sell it too because like if people want it um obviously I can't give it away because I'm just you know giving away free money and, you know, why not make a profit off it, too, if I can? Um, but, it, like I was saying, it's shit that I would want to make anyway. Just because I think it's funny. And I think the designs actually came out looking pretty cool, too. So, uh, let's see here. I was thinking about... The fact that I have... What the fuck? I keep starting... I always do that. I start sentences without knowing what the sentence is going to be and I try to fill it in so that I'm just starting sentences in different ways over and over again <clears throat> trying to see if words will come to my head weird habit I have and I do that quite a bit really um oh, oh basketball starting up again so that's cool um the last practice I was at, I did pretty fucking nice. We had we did this drill called the Michigan drill where you it's kind of like around the world where there's five spots all mid range shots, and you start it starts when you make one and once you make one at the first spot, every time you miss two in a row you run it down and back and then you go to the next spot, but we were doing it timed, because it was like stations. And I never left the first spot because I never missed two in a row. And I made 22 in uh, two minutes, I think. So I missed, like, a total of, like, probably four shots. So that was pretty fucking sick. I still didn't win that somehow. You know, you, you can't. I don't know what to do about that. <laughs> but whatever. You know, I was still pretty happy with it. And I feel like I'm going to do pretty good this season. It's really all a confidence thing. Um, like, the pretty much the more confident I get and the less self-conscious I am with the ball and moving around on the court, the better I end up doing. Obviously, I've developed my actual skills more too, but it's really a confidence thing. Like, if you can go out on the court confidently and move with confidence and you have, like, the basic, basic skills, you'll do better than someone who... <laughs> can do really well in their element, but they feel like totally out of place on the court. That's what I've discovered in my very constructive 16 years of experience. Only, what, four of which I've been playing basketball. Um, I want to start posting on Instagram, kind of, because I feel like my Instagram's ass. And I, may, I look like a band kid, like, really bad when you look at my Instagram. Because it's just, like, well, I've got clips from YouTube, and then the rest of it is just, like, meme-ass pictures. <laughs> like, there's me with the vote for Kanye uniform thing. Uh, there's me and Aiden around a fire looking like fucking idiots. Like, these, they're kind of funny pictures, but, like, I want to, I kind of want to have some sort of good pictures on there, you know, like, I'm not trying to look like, I'm not trying to have, like, a fucking model Instagram or something, you know what I mean, like, I'm not trying to take, like, 
uh, I don't know. I don't even know how to describe it. But I just want to have like some, a couple decent pictures on there. So you can tell that I'm sexy as fuck, you know? Um, like I was saying but, uh, earlier, I'm not super happy with my videos lately. Because I just, I'm not, I kind of like making the video essays, but at the same time, I, f I don't know. I just feel like every time I'm not happy, I feel like it's not exactly what I was trying to say. Like with this riot video... My I mean, I could, I put across the point that I think politics are stupid. And I think I did a good job making it not too edgy and, like, kind of avoiding some of the cringiness of it by, you know, making it seem like a joke, kind of. Which, it kind of is. I don't take it that seriously, but... um, I don't know. I'm just never... Whenever I finish one of those, I'm just like, eh, it's not bad. But the only one I'm really happy with... And even now, I kind of look at it, I'm like, eh, it's insecurity. Even that, I'm kind of like, I could have done better with that. But that one is the best because that's the one I had the most passion behind, I think. But, I don't know. I just don't know how much... I, I really don't know. I don't know what I want to do with my channel at this point. Like, I kind of was thinking about doing some, like, reaction video, kind of like commentary type shit. I was thinking about doing, you know, more of that kind of stuff, like Cody Ko, Drew Gooden type videos. And obviously I still do the occasional Danny Duncan kind of vlog. Um, and obviously I do these video essay things. But I want to combine those things and I don't, I, I just, I, I feel like I'm repeating myself a lot on this, but... I'm just struggling with having, I want kind of like every aspect of my personality in my videos, you know, like every thing that I'm interested in, in terms of like style, I want to put into my video. So it's kind of like, you know, my own thing. I don't want it to be like, oh yeah, I'm a Danny Duncan clone or I'm a Another guy who makes video essays, or I'm a, another guy who does commentary, you know? I, it's just, I know, I'm sure every YouTuber struggles with this at some point. I'm just figuring that out. And I definitely am going to do more of the merch in the future after this drop, even if this stuff doesn't sell that well, just because I've discovered I, it's really fun. Even this, I mean, this was super simple. Literally all I did was just come up with the ideas, uh, hire someone on Fiverr, kind of give them an idea of what I wanted, and then they do the design, and it's just that. And I just put that on a shirt. Like, it was very simple. But in the future, I'd like to do some of my own designs. My original plan was to design my own merch. But I don't have really the means right now to make it look good because I can draw but I can't really, I don't have any graphic design experience and I don't have Photoshop and I can't, I don't know how to make a high enough resolution uh, image to be put on a shirt. So it just seemed easier to outsource it to a professional who knows what they're doing, who can actually, you know, do it right so I can make it look good. And also, even though I can draw, I don't think I'm really, I mean, I don't practice enough to really be that good to put it on a shirt, you know, like, I mean, I guess I could put this on a shirt, like this toad, I think this looks pretty good, like, I could put that on a shirt, but I don't know, I just feel like I'm inconsistent, and I would have to do something digital, which I'm not good at either, um, and I'm not, like, yeah, I'm rambling now, shut the fuck up, stop fucking rambling, um, See, I want this I want this to be funnier, but I'm trying to okay. Let's talk about some current events. How about that? Let me just look up some news. Obviously, you probably heard about these dudes who shorted uh GameStop and then the Reddit group uh just put all their money into GameStop to the moon, baby. 
took that shit sky high and brought the price up and these hedge fund managers lost mad money. That's pretty cool. I think that's a cool story. And, um, I don't know. I wish I had done it, but at the same time, I mean, I don't have anything set up right now to invest, but I legitimately want to invest in some, uh, like Bitcoin or some, some sort of crypto. Just like a small amount of money, so it's like low risk. But, I mean, I definitely think that that's, that's going places in the future. And I want to get in, like, it's really not early at this point, but I want to get in before it becomes regulated by the government. Because then I feel like prices are going to skyrocket. And I feel like the sooner I get in, the better. So I probably am going to do that at some point. We talked about a little bit of basketball. Um, my team is doing shit balls this year. The Bucks are not doing well at all. Giannis got dunked on by, uh, what was his name? Some white guy, dude. I mean, it was not that impressive, to be honest. Giannis jumped super late. It wasn't his guy. But he got up there, and the guy did finish the dunk on him. So I'll give the guy credit. He dunked on Giannis. But I hate when just because someone's good, when they get like a super unfortunately timed thing like that where they get dunked on, all the credit goes to the guy, and it's like, it, it's like this huge thing. But it's like, if Giannis was ass, people would be like, yeah, okay, it wasn't even that good of a dunk. You know? Like, if it was the other way around, no one would care. It was not an impressive dunk. You know? I'm just saying. I mean, still, Giannis got fucking dunked on. You can't deny it, but... And, and you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it. I hate to do it, but this... When I got... When Tim dunked on me, dude, in that one video, in the vlog over the summer, the cow vlog, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll link it in the description, if I remember. But in the basketball montage, it ends with Tim getting a dunk off on me. But literally, okay, first of all, that day I literally was guarding every single person who touched the paint was my job. And that's all they were doing was attacking the paint. Everyone else basically was just had their thumb up their ass. I'm just going to say it. I was our entire defense, and I was guarding someone else. Then I realized Tim had the ball, so I turn around, and I jump as he's already in the air, about to dunk it, and I just barely get, like, my arm in there. So he really dunked on my hand, and I jumped super late. Did he dunk on me? Yes, technically. But does he have bragging rights? Fuck no. Fuck no, dude. It was not an impressive dunk. Fuck out of here. Anyways, Trump announces his new impeachment defense team days before Senate trial to begin. I don't fucking care. Biden will meet with 10 Republican senators as they float smaller $618 billion COVID relief plan. Cool, I guess. House Republicans brace for party clash over Cheney and Green. I don't know what the fuck that means. Biden's approval rating is Trump's in reverse. I mean, he's been in office for a week or something, but that's cool, I guess. They stormed the Capitol to overturn the results of an election they didn't vote in. Um, I'm not going to talk about the Capitol riot, because obviously I already did that. Alright, the news is fucking dry as hell. Dry as your fucking grandma's coochie. So, uh, I'm not, I'm not talking about that. I heard, there, I heard this song called Red Line by Jordy Kiefer. Dude, that shit fucking slaps, bro. Good ass song. And it's only got like a million views and it's from 2016. Like this shit is, it's good. It sounds like it would be a hit, really. It's not. It probably will be soon, though, because it's on TikTok now. So, it's probably going to blow up. I think for the next episode, I might get someone else on here to talk. Maybe not. I'll just see how I feel. 
I don't know how often I'm going to do this either. I'm just going to do it randomly, sporadically. Because it's my second channel, no one really watches that much. But I will probably promote this. Now that I'm doing something that I think is kind of worth watching on here, I'll probably put it at the end of videos for a while. Get a little bit of viewership on it, you know? I'm really just bored lately, you know? I'm in school. School is boring as hell. It is nice because it's hybrid, so it's nice to, you know, go out places, see people, talk to people. That's nice. But, just, I can't. I cannot convince myself to care about school. You know, in the past, I used to... I've never cared about school. But I've always been good at just getting it done anyway. But the older I get, the more I just want to be like, oh, fuck this. Like, it just feels like such a waste of time, you know? Especially with homework, you know? Like, I don't mind while I'm in school, because it's like, if I have to be here, I might as well fucking do what I'm supposed to, but... While I'm at home, it's like, no, dude. There's so much other shit I'd rather be doing than fucking learning about Carl Sagan. Not that I even, like, Carl Sagan's an interesting dude. I was just, and that happened to be what I could remember most recently being assigned, but that's a bad example because that's actually kind of, I like Carl Sagan. But, oh, I found this show. It's actually existed for a long time. I just never heard of it. Called Off the Air. It's on Adult Swim. That shit is fucking cool. It honestly is. It is like a like an acid trip kind of. Like it's very strange kind of. And uh, it's all like I should probably stop fucking playing with this. It's probably making so much noise. But it it's kind of like these different shorts. But a lot of it's, like, totally unconnected, and it'll just be, like, visually cool. I'll have music over it and shit. It v seems very internet-esque, you know? It seems like something that would be exclusively online, but it's actually on Adult Swim on TV. I've been watching it all on YouTube, though. And, uh, it's really cool. I, I recommend it if you're kind of, like, a. would say I recommend it in general. I don't know who would enjoy it, but someone probably will. What was next? There was something else. Oh. Uh, I guess I'm just going to recommend some YouTube shit. Because why not? All Gas No Breaks. That guy is a fucking genius. His his shit's awesome. I just love the like atmosphere of his videos. Like. He, something about him. He reminds me of like. Old Tony Hawk games. I don't know what it is. It just has that kind of vibe to it. It's not at all related to skateboarding or anything like that, but just, like, has that vibe of just, like, I don't even know. I can't describe it in words, but he just, I don't know, his videos are awesome. He, he is basically a reporter. Like, he goes and interviews people, but his, he, his spin on it is that he shows, like, super strange people. His goal is to find just, like, the wackiest people he can find. And he finds some fucking crazy ass people. And it's, his videos are funny, but they're also like kind of informative because it's like showing you what people are really like. Like he always talks about how he wants to show shit's crazier than you might think. And uh, he definitely shows that. It's just, he's just, I don't know. He, his videos are super simple. It's like not over edited, not a lot to it. It's like I go and I interview people. And he barely even talks. Like, he'll just ask them questions. Very few words. He just holds the microphone. And he gets crazy reactions. Like, he's pretty... He's good at what he does. I've been watching him. I've been watching, like I said, a lot of shit about psychedelics. I don't know why that is fascinating to me lately, but it is. Abba and Preach. I think that's one of the best, one of the only good reaction channels. Because they are legitimately adding a lot to the video. Like... There's, it's so easy to just throw on a video and fucking watch it and then be like, oh, that was a good video. And then that's your content for the day and you can do that every single day, multiple times a day, you make mad money. 
but they actually, you know, they pause, they have things to say about it. They're adding criticism or praise or, you know, being funny about it. And yeah, they make good videos. I've been watching movies quite a bit. I watched The Wolf of Wall Street. Such a fucking good movie. Martin Scorsese is becoming one of my favorite directors. I like obviously he's one of the best of all time. He's made so many good movies. And uh for a long time I just said um I said my favorite director was Quentin Tarantino. That's definitely not the case. I think he makes good movies too, but that's such a cop out answer because it's like, oh, he's different. Because he tells his stories in a non chronological order. He's edgy. It's like, yeah, it's it's not that special. <laughs> like, once once you've seen a one Tarantino movie, the kind of novelty of that wears off, and you realize, like, okay, these are good movies, but he is not as innovative and crazy as people make him out to be. But Martin Scorsese, he's a pretty traditional filmmaker, but he just... I don't know. He's great at what he does. I can't. I'm not well versed enough to really describe what's so great about him. But I mean, watch a Scorsese movie, and you can tell he's fucking amazing at what he does. And you know, I think three or two of my favorite movies of all time are directed by him. Uh, Goodfellas. I fucking love Goodfellas. And that's probably my second favorite movie of all time. My first is probably Stand By Me, which is weird because it's kind of like Goodfellas is like a incredibly well-made movie. And then Stand By Me is like, it's a decent movie, but it's not like a achievement in filmmaking. You know, it's just an a interesting story. And I love coming of age stories. And uh, I think that's a, just a great example of one. And I just love it. They make the characters, that's a great example of making the characters as likable as, as you can. Um, that's that's probably, if I make a feature film, I think that's my main goal, is I want to have, I want to be really good at making characters likable, or not likable, you know, either way. Um, I feel like that's something I would be pretty good at as a director. Or slash writer. Um, yeah. Oh, I've also been watching Bill Burr a lot. Bill Burr is just fucking hilarious. I mean, there's not much else to it. He, his rants and shit, like, he's just a funny guy. And, you know, he can talk about anything and make it funny. And that's something I'm trying to learn is, you know, I want to get better at just riffing on shit alone. That's when it's hard is when I'm alone. With my friends, it's like, yeah, I can riff off what you're saying pretty easy. And I get in that mode where I'm just trying to come up with funny shit over and over. And I can just throw shit out there. And if it doesn't land, I just keep going. But when I'm alone, it's like, it feels, I don't know, it just feels awkward. It's like, how can you be awkward with yourself? I don't even know, but it's a thing. I'm about to sneeze. Never mind. I fucking hate that. Um, man, what am I even talking about? How long have I been going? What are we at? Thirty minutes. Probably end it pretty soon here. This episode was kind of ass, so. I apologize, but wait for the next one.